is my garden. Now there's citronella. That's a clipping that I cloned. And now it's turned into that little beast. But what I'd like to show is this tomato plant I got over here. That is a pepper plant that I have started. And it's pretty cool. There's a mango that I'm trying to get going. All these little clippings you see on the ground are from broccoli that I let go. And then I cut it down because it was holding it down. But anyways, that's one tomato. There is a pole there, and that's the one tomato. And that other little leaf you see coming out of the bottom there is because I kept burying it because I had it in sand. But you can see what my tomato plant looks like. As I walk further away, it's taller than the fence. <laughs> this thing's huge. This is cherry tomatoes. Uh, my first time. So I just wanted to share this. I think it's kind of cool. They're doing well. I'll show you some more of my garden stuff that I got. But anyways, come right around here. I don't see it from this side too because he's huge. That that's my tomato plant that I've been growing since oh I'd say September I started him. Like he didn't start growing until like now, a little while ago. And he's just massive. I see a tomato growing. And there's one. It looks like a big tomato to me, but this should be a cherry tomato. But we'll see. I think I have one more. There he is. He, to me, he looks huge. Like, I don't know, man. It doesn't look like a cherry tomato, but that might be how the first one is look. Hold it still if I can. Anyway, that's that's my tomato plant. I have it on a post up here on some kind of string, holding it out to one of those things that you can buy. So however tall those things are, on the ground, and voila. You got yourself a big tomato plant that I'm gonna have to start tying more strings to. Hold it up. Coming right along. This is some broccoli I tried. Of course, I started it on the ground and mounted it up. Um, I cut a lot of it down because it was done and we ate it. The rest of this stuff that you see that's tall is broccoli and that's what happens if you don't cut it down early, it turns yellow flowers. Bees will come and I guess whatever happens, maybe seeds will come about that from pollinating other plants, I'm not sure. But I'm learning. But I wanted to share what I did. It's my first time doing it. They almost look like season there. Anyway, he's coming along here. Here's some broccoli that I'm letting go. I could probably still cut it down. So. This is a banana plant that was doing really good, but whatever happened to it, well, um, to say it happened. <laughs> Long story. Those little sprouts you see there are like cabbages and stuff that grew in the ground and started. There's a pineapple plant that was in a pot, I put it in the ground, see how it's gonna do. Little pepper plants, there's some beans coming out, of lemon, that's a clone that I did with lemon. It's also a little clone that I did with pepper plant, but these peppers have been here for a while, they're not growing too much, but I guess they don't get enough sun from those guys. Oh no, looks like this here was my mango, it looks like it got ran over. So there's only one thing I can do. I'm gonna have to grab scissors and cut it and put some powder at the bottom and try to clone them and keep them alive. Otherwise, it's done. Oh well, not some things live, some things don't. That thing took forever to dry out and make it grow. That's avocado is what it is. Let's move right along here. Some more broccoli. We're getting held up by one of those things. That's how it's all that tomato plant is. This is uh, cilantro. Um, there's bok choy growing. Looks almost kind of like the broccoli, but uh, there's another tomato plant. That's another single tomato plant that's got like five stakes in it. It's growing huge. And there's more cilantro growing tall. I tied it like a stick. There's a clipping of broccoli that's dying. <laughs> Maybe come back, we'll see. A bunch of little pepper plants up in there. This is all the work I've been doing for about six months, I'd say, I've been working on this. Turn it sideways a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't mess it open here. Just for another look. 
turn it back to normal. That's a tomato plant. That's for the moles. There's a little bean sprout that you're feeding in. Probably that stock is down there. Pretty cool. Bok choy. It's pretty tight. And then I got some more back here. There's a little broccoli starting. And I can clip that thing before it turns yellow. Giant cabbages that I was growing inside, but now they're on the outside. Cilantro and some more little bean sprouts and lettuce that's gonna grow. Tomatoes doing good. There's a bunch underneath here somewhere. They're underneath there somewhere. Bunches of little tomatoes. That's why I think the other one was a cherry tomatoes, because I think it came in the same pack, but like that little nugget of them, man. It's pretty cool. There's a bunch in there though. All in a good time. Yeah, that's my little garden that I got kicking. And that's that plant from over there, six mil. And there's my other little garden there. And right now I'm growing grass because it was all that cedar tree, all those limbs were all the way out here. So there was no grass. We got them cut down and that's why I started six months ago. It was this stuff. But I want to upload this and hopefully it makes it. This is in Florida. As the sun's going down. Or if it's... It's going to get better. First time. 